Hi, and welcome to today's video from Oceanic. Now, today we're going to be opening up the new Swan D1080 Mark IVs. Uh, this is a one of our sort of mid to entry level uh, 2.0 systems that's just come into the country. Uh, so we'll get them out of the box, get them connected up, and show you what they look like. So with this model, Swan are changing to their new packaging style. Uh, they're still double boxed. You see this one's English, and they've got the line drawings on the front. Uh, double boxed, as you'd expect, with basically all of the Swan product. And internally, uh, like you'd expect again, you've got your white gloves there. Just put them there. You've got your custom made foam packaging. And then you've got the speakers. So that'll be one of them there. And this is the active one. Quite a lot heavier uh, with the amp sitting in the back of it. So in the box you've also got uh, this bag which contains a power lead and an input cable and then you've got your interconnection cable which goes between the two speakers. So we'll just take these out of the bags. They're all just uh, done this way to keep them from getting damaged. But uh, these speakers are a new finish for us as well. So with this model we've got a, uh, like a PVC wood grain finish on it and the front panel is uh, again custom made. It's a plastic and a fascia, and you've also got the removable grills on these models. So I'll just take that off there. And uh, you can see that sculptured front on it. This is the passive speaker. On the back you've just got your input at the bottom here, and you've got a tuned slotted port at the top. So put that to the one side, get the active one out. Now this one's where the magic happens. So the front is the same, the finish is the same. On this one you've got here volume, bass and treble on the front. And then on the back you've got your amplifier built in. There's the big heat sink there. Again you've got your port, audio input, your connection to the other speaker, a indicator of the status, power status, uh, your power switch and your input lead. I'll just give you a close up of what they look like. So that's with the grill off, the sculptured front on it and the uh, finish which is like a black wood grain. There's the back with all the connectors and there's your volume base and treble pots. Now the connection of this model is fairly straightforward. First thing you gotta do is join the two speakers together. Now this connector has a uh, position uh, pin in the middle, in the top sorry, so that it can only go one way. So you just screw on like that. Uh, the same on both sides, it just fits on there and screws down. You've got your power cable, which is again as straightforward as anything could be, which just connects straight in the bottom there. And then you've got your input cable, which just uh, is red and white at the top, for left and right. And that connects to your computer or iPod. Now if we just switch those on, with the connections we've just done, and if we hit the play button, basically you've got your volume control at the top here, and below that is uh, bass and treble. Now they have a little detent in the middle, so you know when you're at zero, it clicks, or has a little, uh, you can feel it there. So to the left is negative, and to the right is positive. So usually good to start with them at uh, zero and see what you like in your music. done themselves with this fourth version of the uh, very famous D1080 design. Uh, they sound better than the last version, they've got a crisper sound with a bit of better bass response and uh, just those new drivers give it that uh, extra bit of crispness. Get yours today.